First of all, I want to apologize uh, that uh, I'm not Emily Bonnet and I won't tell you anything about scripts in India. Uh, unfortunately, she broke her leg and the six screws which she has uh, in her leg uh, made her not to go. She, she was very uh, upset and sad about it, but at least uh, I can tell you something about Georgian script. So, uh, we all love Unicode, isn't it? It's, it's a great system, but uh, Georgians were uh, not able to, to say it loud uh, until, until recently. And now this happens. This happened on 10th of May, and uh, the Georgian uppercase was accepted uh, the proposal on, to, on Unicode committee. And this is a really big thing. Uh, because Georgians, of course, use uppercase, uh, but they, they, the struggles, uh, I will tell you in a while. So I could thank like 50 people and organizations, and this could be the end, because it's kind of a successful story. We try to uh, talk about it internationally, and it finally happened. Uh, but uh, of course, I will tell you a bit more. Uh, I usually have this lecture with my very good friend from Georgia, Akaki Radzmadze, who is a, a very great type designer. And uh, we met in Monotype. He, has a, uh, he had an internship there at Bad Homburg, where we met. Uh, and uh, I was trying to be a font engineer at that time. And we forced uh, together to produce some Georgian uh, typefaces. And um, I'll show you later uh, how it went and which struggles, which struggles we had together. So Georgian script uh, is used uh, only in Georgia. It has four million people, and, but it has a long history. So first Georgian inscriptions appeared when the country became Christian. In Georgia, there, is still, uh, there are still churches uh, from fourth or fifth century. Here we can see the first Georgian writings, and we call the script Kuchuri. Kuchuri is an old Georgian script, which has both uppercase and lowercase letters. Since the 9th century, they are uh, all used uh, exactly the same way as we do use uppercase and lowercase in Latin. After a full stop, uh, and uh, uh, words started with uppercase uh, letters, and so on. Later, due to the fast writing and the change of writing tools, a new script was developed. The new script was spread rapidly. Everybody learned it easily. We call the script Mkedruli, which means a secular alphabet. The old Georgian script was used in the church, and we still find it in the ecclesiastical literature today. These scripts, the old Georgian you see on the top, and the modern Georgian look like this. Their implementation in Unicode was quite chaotic, and until this May, the Georgian script was not fully present in the Unicode standard. Here you can see that the old Georgian uppercase and modern Georgian lowercase were put in one block in Unicode, but the, the old lowercase in Kudruli was missing. So church asked for that. And that one, the old Georgian lowercase, was added to a totally different part of Unicode. Despite the fact that these Georgian scripts are disting, uh, distributed in different blocks, they have at least Unicode support. The uppercase of modern Georgian was, was an issue. It's more than two centuries old now, and for a very long time, it lacked Unicode support. We call these letters Tavruli, which means uppercase. For two years, uh, Akake told me he was looking for a grave uh, of this man. Uh, this is Mikhail Kipiani, who created the first uh, Georgian sans, sans serif, and was the first person to design the letters of modern Georgian uh, for the metal type. You will not be surprised if I'll tell you that on his gravestone his name is written in Tavruli letters. Toward the end of 19th century, 
and in the beginning of the 20th century, the tabrilla letters were used the same way as uppercase in the Latin script. After a full stop uh, and for writing personal names, first letters were written with tavruli, the uppercase. Tavruli is also used today. You can see it uh, on the road signs, you can see it on the banknotes, you can see it on the books, and as you, you can see here, exactly when uh, uh, we are using uppercase, George and I are using uppercase. We are using uh, title case, but Georgians are using lowercase only. So there is no title case in Georgian. It doesn't exist nowadays. You can see it on posters. You can see it uh, in newspapers. It's everywhere. As I said, the difference is whoop, the difference is that it's only used all caps as all caps uh, function of Latin. So it's written either all your lowercase or all uppercase. And this does not change the fact that um, Tavruli is uppercase. Uh, but now I'm going to use the, f how, how you want to use uppercase if you have no Unicode sub for, for that. So uh, some of the Georgian type, uh, typefaces uh, put these uppercase into private use area. Uh, into Unicodes which are not usually used or used uh, exclusively. Uh, but this is not uh, working very well. It's not on every computer and it's not depicted the same way. So there is another approach which is ASCII, ASCII based mapping uh, and this uh, complicates the depiction even more. If you copy the text uh, and you don't have the same typeface, you may have, you may get a Latin text, which would make no sense. And there was also the option using a different file, uh, font file, a completely different font file. But again, if if you copy it, you lose you lose the semantics. It's, it's not idle uh, work around. So that's uh, that. That's why we think the only good solution is uh, the Unicode support, Unicode support for that. Now let's move to diacritics. Uh, there are many dialects uh, spread in Georgia. There are also languages which are different from Georgian and belong to the Kartvelian language group. Just like uh, in the European languages family, there is also Kartvelian language fam languages family, which includes four languages. Georgian, Mingrelian, Svan, and Las. The Svan language is spoken only by 30,000 people. Despite this, there are books printed in this language, uh, but there are no typefaces to support this language. And the Svan language uses Georgian letters and diacritical marks are needed additionally. Unicode does, Unicode does not support these marks and it's not anticipated in the future. However, they can be used as a combining marks and we will talk about this a bit later. So the, this, the design uh, of the Georgian diacritical marks is very simple. It's similar to other European diacritical marks. You see vowels with diuresis, acute, macron and other. In some cases, we find uh, that two <coughs> diacritical marks uh, sit uh, uh, on top of each other and it could look a bit strange. However, such uh, characters are also used in the Latin script. So uh, it can be depicted quite easily. The situation becomes relative uh, complicated with uh, uppercase and tavruli letters. Of course, both lowercase and uppercase letters need diacritical marks. However, this problem can be also solved. The Latin uppercase uh, with uh, two diacritical marks exists. It's not a problem to read it. So, in Monotype, uh, we've built a complete character set uh, of the modern, modern Georgian script. Here are a few typefaces that Akaki designed and I've engineered. 
Georgian letters of Neue Helvetica and uh, FF Meta are among them. In this case, uh, there are important details like contrast, line endings, links, and many others that create this harmonization. It's also important to have a connection with other scripts. If we consider that the Georgian script uh, developed from the Asian Green sc Greek script, it's not surprising that there are clear similarity among some letters. For example, Georgian letter O here is very similar to the Greek omega. You can see it here. Just turn it around. And uh, the Greek, uh, oh, the the J, which is this one, is similar to Greek rho. <coughs> So, uh, this, this similarity is present in all the typeface designs so we created. So, by considering every detail, we have resulted that Georgian letters look absolutely natural and uh, are harmonized next to the Latin and the Greek scripts. It's also noteworthy that uh, all these typefaces have diacritical signs for the Kartvelian languages and of course uh, uppercase Tavrula letters. And now I will tell you a bit more about engineering, which was uh, my part at Monotype. I will tell you a bit uh, about the character set, uh, how we implemented uh, uppercase at the time, there was no Unicode, uh, what we struggled with diacritics, hyphenation, hinting, and uh, we have a look uh, on the keyboard layout, which is uh, uh, main issue, which is one of the issues for the future. So, uh, if you look on the usual Georgian typefaces which were provided in the country, you, you may see it's like something like 40 Georgian glyphs. Uh, they are put in, into Greek font or Latin font, and it's, it's quite chaotic. You may get some more or less. Uh, so, we decided we create a standard. And we decided uh, to include the most we can uh, and we know. So it is 134 uh, Georgian glyphs and a basic uh, Latin one to accompany that. And you all know uh, very well, of course, this magical button uh, where you select uh, your font, your text, and you click and you get uppercase. That's, that's awesome, that's easy. And very useful, but if you do it with a usual Georgian font, you select your text, you click the magical button, and nothing happens. Well, yeah, there's no 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 uppercase. There's even no way because, uh, yeah, how would the button know? Uh, so we 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 had some thoughts about it, and uh, we found out it's probably some hard-coded Unicode substitution and combination with a case feature. So if you can use case feature on numbers, why could you, or, or punctuation, why couldn't you use it uh, on, on letters? So we did very simple case feature which says, oh, okay, here's lowercase, uh, replace it by uppercase. And if you try it out in InDesign, ta-da, magic, it works. And it works e even for, for the diacritics. So there was one uh, success, but like a bit of success because it's it's not everything. Uh, of course, you can you can say okay, just use another font. But uh, we've been there already. You remember small cap fonts, all the alternate fonts uh, from the 90s. This this is not working very well. Uh, we Czechs also and all the Eastern languages remember using using. Um, uh, kind of a hacking the, these uh, character sets and putting our diacritic marks instead of uh, other uh, other glyphs, and then if you change the font, it changed to gibberish, and it was just, that's not that's not that's not enough good for today. You can use variation selectors, which is kind of a technology in in Unicode. So you you write one glyph, and then you add a variation selector to it, 
but you have to do it for every letter. So if, if your boss says, oh, make it uppercase, and then make it lowercase, and then uppercase, you just going to jump from the window because it's too uh, tedious. Or you can do the open type feature, which, uh, which we did. Uh, it works, uh, but uh, it's, not, it's not supported everywhere. This button uh, works uh, basically just for Adobe products and not, uh, not everywhere. And uh, uh, the, de the semantics disappear. If you copy the text, uh, you get nothing. It's blank. Uh, and it's not long-term solution. So we said, okay, we, that's, that's not a good solution for, for this century, isn't it? So we need Unicode. Uh, so now, how we saw how we dealt, uh, dealt with diacritics. So there is no Unicode. Uh, there is no plan for Unicode in the future. So you just build and curse, and you use mark positioning. And then we get to the code, and we find out okay, there is a script a tech Georg uh, for Georgian. So so we should use it and build our features with that. And we tested out and found out oh, it doesn't work in InDesign. Uh, what a surprise! And then we, we uh, scratch our head and found out, aha, uh -huh, there is no Georgian language in InDesign, so therefore no features could work. And of course, you, ha you get no hyphenation. And with no hyphenation in Latin, you see uh, there are some, some puddles or streams. But in Georgian, it's kind of lakes or rivers. It's just too bad. So there are already some third-party scripts, so please implemented that's that's really necessary for typography of 21st century okay so we were like okay and so then we won't use it and we're done no we're not it doesn't work in uh, word so uh, at the end you have to use the script and you have to co duplicate it uh, then uh, we we went okay so uh, now we need to sort so, uh, the diacritics, so we sort it out with the CCMP feature, which is like a composition and decomposition, and you can build uh, pretty easily pre-composite uh, glyphs with uh, diacritics. And we're going to solve the, the kerning with that, which is, of course, uh, a possibility. But there is also a more geeky solution, uh, which says uh, you put in your code lookup flag ignore marks, which tells the, the kerning uh, engine to ignore the marks, so finally uh, the letters can uh, be kerned as they would be together without any, any diacritic marks. And then when we, we went uh, to hinting and we were like, okay, that could be nearly the same as Latin, but it's, it's not. It's a bit different and there are different zones and uh, it just didn't work at all for Georgian, so we get this uh, usual dancing runs and straights, and uh, no outhand was working for us very well. Um, but we knew uh, Werner Lemberg for TTF outhand, and uh, as, as you may know him, uh, uh, Akaki just wrote him a letter note, and in a few days it got implemented. So, a uh, real magician, Werner Lemberg, thanks to him, the Georgians can have now pretty well auto-hinted uh, fonts. And now we get to the bit of future of uh, Georgian script. So, this is what uh, Georgian keyboard looks like now. Uh, you can see that uh, the Georgian letters occupy the Latin tw 26 of, uh, of Latin here. Uh, but uh, as you may notice, that there are more Georgian uh, glyphs. So they deal it with uh, pressing shift. So you get uh, the seven more of uh, modern Georgian and a bit more of uh, ancient, ancient Georgian with shift, which is uh, quite uh, not ideal solution when you need uppercase because you, we are all used to use uppercase with shift. But uh, we have to we have to take what's what it, what's existing, so there are two possibilities now. The first is that we're gonna stay backward compatible. So we're gonna have the same keyboard without any any pressed button, uh, and with shift, uh, you may get the seven seven glyphs more from the standard uh, Georgian lowercase, but you you may see there are two more, and they are Latin. Uh, anybody would guess why is 
they are there? I tell you, it's because smileys. So they like to use smileys, and they need these two letters to be <laughs> to be there. Uh, it's easy. Uh, and then with alt, you get to this uh, uh, to the to the uh, to the archaic letters, which are not uh, often used, and you get also to the currency symbol, which is this one here. Very useful. And finally, and that's a great solution, I think, with caps lock you get to the uppercase. Because you either write a whole word or a sentence or even a paragraph with uppercase, uh, you don't want to press shift the whole time because it would block basically one of your hands. So caps lock is a great solution to that. And with caps lock shift, you get again to the seven uh, more glyphs, but in uppercase. Uh, but you don't have to press the caps lock, so it's fine. It's everybody will be used to that. So it's fine. Uh, also, there is uh, another view uh, which is called the Georgian QWERTY new keyboard, and this says, "Okay, let's let's put these uh, glyphs on a side, like a German keyboard, for example, has it. And if you press uh, caps lock, uh, they will just become uppercase. I think this is." Uh, this this is a good idea, but it's, it could be really, uh, really a struggle for users which are already used to the keyboards, which is like most of, of the Georgian. So this is, this is a possibility, of course, but they probably will in, be introduced both together. So the future, the future is uh, there, there. There should be a conference in Georgia. Uh, we are. Uh, like Akaki is trying to uh, to do it, but it's of course it's not easy, easy task to do. Because there really did, there has to be broad discussion with uh, educational institutions, with government. How are we going to do it? What what will be on the keyboard? It's, uh, what what will happen in the future? Uh, so yeah, long term solution for uppercase that's done. Thank you, Unico. That's that's really great. And uh, they have to solve the PC and also the the keyboard on on mobile. And the more the more you you stretch the keyboard, you scale it. The the the, the less space you get for every glyph, so it's it's really uh, uh, critical w how many letters you can squeeze in. Uh, they also have to update existing fonts because <coughs> of course there are many fonts already existing. And uh, luckily, as the country is so small, there is main uh, web page uh, uh, holding most of the uh, most of the font files. And they already contacted the the owner of the web uh, website, and he promised that uh, he gonna ask the designers and he gonna update uh, the fonts, introduce uh, uppercase or or move it from the 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 ASCII based uh, code page or uh, uh, move it from the uh, private usage area, and of course uh, the last thing which needs to be done, but not least, uh, the hyphenation, which is also very important. And with all this, I think the the Georgian is going to 21st century. Thank you. <laughs>